Everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do Ultraverse Dissolution number 10 by Malibu Comics, covered by Daniel Brereton, uh, written by James Dunal, arts by John Stadema and Jeff Whiting. So uh, in the last issue, issue number nine, I, you know, have something, criti you know, criticized the, the comic a lot because of the lackluster story and the bad art. Um, in here, the art is, is definitely improved. Um, nope, that doesn't. So let's start here. So we have Dropkick. Uh, there he's punching uh, Veer or Verk. Verk, I guess. And he says, what's that for? For trying to leave Era in the hands of those monsters. Um, so and then he transforms into, uh, into his monster form. And I, I love the fact that this whole monster transformation uh, looks really cool. Uh, I wish, you know, more artists just are doing that instead of, you know, having a from one page to the other, and then it's all transformed. So, uh, yeah, Verk is getting pissed, but then um, Leila Cho intervenes. Um, her name is, code name is Tech, and says, hey, listen, we need to stop it. We need to work together, and um, we have to go uh, get uh, her, her teammate back, right? And they have to go to the the world of the Veer. Those are those space magicians, space sorcerers, if you can call it. And they have to go to the world and uh, use the Vorlex. Well, the Vorlex is um, uh, yeah, this, this kind of a diamond um, that can do basically anything. I mean, I'm not sure if it's like, you know, some kind of infinity gauntlet or it's some cosmic cube, but it does a lot. But the downside is, and I like the fact, that every time the wearer uh, or the user uh, uses that, the, the power that's inside this, this, this crystal, um, the user is getting more and more corrupted, you know, probably for the evil ways. So I'm not sure what the, if, if somebody is corrupted, what then happens, I don't know, but you know, probably a very bad thing. Uh, I always wonder why when, when people transform back to their human, their clothes come with them. How, how, how does that work? It doesn't matter. It doesn't make any sense. So, um, so Leila uh, convinces her, her part of the team, says, okay, let's go. And she says to the, to the crystal, um, take us to your world. And they're going here and there's some weird, bizarro looking, I don't know, abstract world. And then Verk says, hey, listen, I, I believe you made a mistake. This is not the, the world of the Veer. Uh, I believe that's, the, yeah, the Veer. Is it Veer? Veer? Veer. Yeah, I said, where the, hell are, where the hell are we? I said, um, and Leila says, I ask us to take uh, to your world. Well, this is not my world. You said it take to, um, you said take us to its world. So, um, so Dropkick says, well, this is an ADM planet, but something is wrong. He says, the world doesn't curve away like it does back home. It seems to go on forever and ever and ever. And then Verk says something, um, you know, um, about that not all worlds are round and that his world is flat. <laughs> and um, he says, our legends say the world is a great disc on the back of a giant scarp. No one has ever found the edge of the world to find out if it's true. And then later says, well, that's, that's, that cannot be. I mean, um, a flat world, that's impossible because otherwise the atmosphere will float away in space. Yeah, but um, Virg is, is standing his ground and defending that his world is flat. Well... And then he says, well, let me try it, All right? So the, the reason that they are mixing it up a little bit when it comes to using that crystal is that um, they think, and I'm agreeing with that, um, if they switch uh, using the crystal, uh, the crystal can, well, just, you know, when it comes to corruption, um, they have more chances not getting corrupted, <laughs> if you know what I mean, because of the different users. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, I said, let me try. Uh, I have a good uh, good knowledge where we need to go, and uh, we're going into a safe uh, place. And um, but Leila says, be careful with this thing. It feels good when you use it. I can see becoming addictive. I like that fact that uh, not only using it, but also people feeling a little bit different after using it. You know, have more you know, compelling thoughts about using it more and more because it can do basically uh, uh, a lot. 
maybe it's just a transporter. I'm not entirely sure, but it, it can do a lot. Um, so, okay, he says, take us to Freelux. Cave, uh, to the uh, Freelux cave in the, in the world, not the world, because that's how I read it in first time, but the world is, I don't know, a place or maybe uh, a planet? I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's a weird name because I always think it's the world instead of the world, W-O-L-D. Um, just inside the entrance, and it says, now we're talking. This is the place I used to go hunting when I was a kid. So uh, I said, wait a minute, hunting ground, they say? Yeah, there's a lot of monsters here. And uh, But uh, hey, there's the... Uh, um, the outside of the cave, we should be safe and they're getting attacked um, by a VORP. Jesus Christ, what is it with the world of V and, and all these small sentences, you know, like VERK and VIR, and now we have a, a monster called VORP. Uh, okay, maybe that's a, that's a thing. Anyway, <clears throat> except uh, take cover, that thing can shoot poison needles. And I must say, um, <clears throat> the art, this artist, uh, John Stadema and Jeff Whiting, they knock it out of the park with the art, man. It looks really good. I mean, when it comes to all these details, uh, small details here uh, on the costume and, and, the, and the, how the body has been drawn. Uh, now I must say, I'm, I'm, you know, oh, hey, it's my favorite character. Uh, solution. Uh, uh, no, it's not the solution, what am I saying? This is a... Uh, oh, man, I'm blanking. Wow. Okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I always forget. Um, what I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, it, it has you know a little bit of a lackluster background, uh, but uh, the backgrounds that there is 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 detailed or you know with all these things going on. I show you a little bit later is a much more detailed and great looking background. And um, so um, Dropkick says, "Will will my key blast hurt it?" Yeah, I should know. Maybe shoot the Vorlex, uh, says Nick. says, no, no, no way. So he shoots at him. and um, But uh, the monster reacts. And uh, the cave is part of the cave uh, is, is falling down. And Verk is getting, you know, hit by this piece of, you know, stone. And he falls unconscious because of the hit. And um, so they try to get away. But then before they can do that, it explodes. Look at this. This is so cool. Wow. Incredible, this looks amazing. So yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was disgusting, they say. Except um, that was weird, I wonder what made it explode. So um, Verk, uh, you know, wakes up and he says, uh, well, what happened? And uh, later says, well, the monster blew up. I said, that cannot be because forbs don't blow up. And then they hear some sounds or a music and then we have this guy here, and um, it seems that Verk knows this guy, and it's called Harmonica, <laughs> because he blows on a harmonica. <laughs> um, so I said, hey, what are you doing here? Uh, get the hell out of here, and how did you follow us? You know, stuff like that. And uh, later says, who is this guy? Is this a friend of yours? Uh, he says, no, he's no friend of mine. And I said, and Drocker says, how did he know? Where did he find us? How did he uh, know we had it? This is spooky. Um, so Verk transforms into this, this powerful monster self um, because he wants to, because it seems that Harmonica wants to have the Vorlex, you know, the, the crystal. It must be destroyed. I can see why. Um, it's too powerful and uh, too evil of a weapon for anything to use. Now give it to me before it's too late. He said, um, are you crazy? Uh, says, um, says says our monstrous companion here. He says uh, we needed to to uh, find our, our partners. Um, they because they kidnapped her. I mean, he means the the, the space wizards. And uh, you don't have a prayer taking the Vorlex from us. And he says, well, that's a matter of opinion. Um, so it seems that they have dropped uh, the crystal. And um, I like the fact that the harmonicas, you know. Harmonica is transforming into whatever he wishes to be. Uh, it seems to be not alive, but it responds to his commands. But he also says, find it for me as if this piece of metal is actually alive. So uh, why am I always forgetting his name? Verk? Verk, I believe. Yeah, I guess. Um, finds the crystal, 
But then uh, an, an owl shows up, you know, that's the, the harmonica thing, gets it and later shoots, it drops, and then uh, Dropkick has it, and he says, Power Rod! And it, it transforms, and then um, he says, I'm going to say this once, give me the Vortex! Uh, like again, the art looks cool, but I have a small problem with it, it's just nitpicking. First of all, I don't like the design because uh, he reminds me, this this whole thing here, um, uh, it reminds me of Caretaker from the Ghost Rider series, when, also from the 90s. Check that out. Uh, he has the same similar outfit-esque, except for that he's wearing more of a shirt without the leather, but the whole hat thing. Also, if you look at here, the rod, now look at close. You see what I mean? The hand is looked like this. But it seems that the rod is coming out here, if you know what I mean. So the bottom is fine, but when it goes up, it feels like it's going through the palm instead of coming in out here, you know, like, like, a, like a pen or something. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But overall, I'm impressed with the art. It looks really cool. So, um, but then the solution says, uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Um, we need to save error from the veer, and uh, we're not going to let you take it away. Um, but then uh, Harmonica, you know, comes around a little bit. He says, well, they took your arm friend, eh? Um, and said, it's unlikely that you can save her. And, but uh, Dropkick and Veer and or Virk, Virk, oh man, I'm forgetting what these names are. Um, all these V words. Anyway, that says... Uh, uh, not gonna happen. You need to get out of here, otherwise we're gonna kick your ass. But then um, Harmonica basically gives up and he says, "You know what? Uh, I see the force won't prevail this time. Therefore, I will help you free Era if you let me destroy the Vorlex afterwards." And um, he says, "We who says we need your help?" And she is also a little bit cross-eyed. <laughs> I like the detail on the gun, though. It looks really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so silly. Um, so, but uh, so Harmonica says, well, I know the area here. Um, for once, I know that Erwin and the darker military forces are looking for you because it was, uh, according to the oracles, prophesied that there was coming and they have been waiting for 70 Earth years. So um, Virk transforms his back, including his clothes. He says, well... Well, that's a bad plan. That's real bad. So basically they're accepting the offer of Harmonica. And uh, so for now they trust him and then they go outside. And again, this looks... Ah, look at that. There's not much background in here, but what it is, what, what it's, you know, show the reader, me, uh, that looks actually really, really good. It's very nice. Needs more though, but that's, of course, my opinion. So... Um, so Leila says, why are you uh, interested in helping of us all? Uh, uh, well, and he says that the Veer are an evil bunch and have become aware of the solution and its purpose. And uh, basically he wants to, uh, you know, disrupt their plans by helping the solution. So he sends his, uh, his harmonica scout thingy. But the bird came, uh, uh, comes back immediately and it transforms into uh, a television. <laughs> Which again looks looks really great. I, I just love it. And um, he said um, he said it's bad that um, Angie he talks to the bird or whatever it is um, says it's a battalion of darker army headed this way. They are coming for you. And then we see something freaking gorgeous. We see this. <laughs> Look at that, amazing. Like I said, uh, a lot of times when you make a splash page or a double splash page, make it so that people are looking in awe or, uh, as in, wow, this looks great and fantastic. And this, yeah, man, it, wow. Look at this, all these soldiers, all different. Uh, also they have these, these, you know, Terminator looking skeleton faces on the, on the on the weapons. Man. Wow. Big cannon of this monster flying. Shouting, screaming. 
Yeah. Also this guy. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. Yeah, man. Love it. Uh, so uh, Dropkit says to the crystal, hey, uh, Vortex or Vorlex, get us out of here. And it's not working. So, um, but, uh, so Harmonica guy says that it's, well, it's, that cannot be. It's only, it should have worked uh, unless somebody's blocking them. And we see the veer in their lair with also a very good looking background and, and, and stuff going on. And you are really getting immersed if, if you are, you know, uh, stuff like that. Look really cool. And we see, uh, yeah, our sorceress hanging here, probably unconsciously. And I believe these are the ones that's blocking them. It's too obvious. And it brings us to the end of the video because it's getting continued in issue 11 that I have. Uh, yeah, overall, yeah, from a mediocre issue number 9 to the really cool um, issue number 10. Uh, like I said, it's maybe a little bit more of an in-between uh, from what's to come storyline. And they meet up with a um, probably interesting... Yeah, villain or hero or something in between, some shady figure. Uh, overall, yeah, great stuff and uh, props to the artist, um, John Stadema and Jeff Whiting. Looks freaking cool. Yeah, guys, uh, that's it. That's all, that's all I have for today. Uh, more stuff is coming. Uh, I also noticed that not a, a, a lot, well, a lot of people that are watching my videos are not subscribed. Maybe you would consider it, you know, you are still here and I really appreciate that. So it would be nice if you subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah, it would help me a lot. Okay, guys, have a nice day. I see you next time. Bye-bye.